Hello, everybody, and welcome to How to Make Your Wife Happy and Healthy. In this episode, we're going to do a quick 20-minute version of an Italian classic, a dish that my family super loves. I hope your family will love it, too. What is it, you wonder? Well, come on. Let's get cooking. videos. If you want a special shout out, please watch through the end to find out how. Today we're making a quick 30 minute chicken masala dish. It's going to be quick and tasty with mushrooms and masala wine and oh, put over rice and it tastes very good. Here are the ingredients. One pound of boneless chicken pieces. Here I've got thighs, so you can use breasts as well. Two tablespoons of wine. Two thirds cup of masala wine. Two tablespoons of oil. One teaspoon of salt. One teaspoon of black pepper. A whole lot of mushrooms. One tablespoon of flour. Two thirds cup of chicken stock. Two and a half tablespoons of butter. First thing we're going to do is heat the pan to medium high heat so we can cook the chicken. Let the pan heat up first before you add the oil. Now the pan says hot, we're going to add two tablespoons of oil to cook the chicken in. We're going to cook the chicken thoroughly on both sides. Let the oil heat up before you put the chicken in. When I'm using olive oil, I know it's ready when I tilt the pan and the oil flows freely. It's good and ready. When I put the chicken on, it's going to sizzle. Now that the pan is hot, we're going to put the salt and pepper on the chicken. You put the chicken in the pan, when you put it in, it should sizzle. While the chicken is cooking like this, we want to leave it on the side. So we're going to get the mushrooms ready to put in later. Before I wash the mushrooms, we're going to take out the stems. Today we're using baby portobellas. They're our favorite flavored fresh mushroom. You can use whatever mushrooms you like. You can even use canned mushrooms. But I find the fresh gives a better flavor. Now we're going to wash the mushrooms. Now that the mushrooms are washed, we're going to cut them up. About a quarter inch slice is good. As you can see when I cook the thighs, it's not just oil there, now there's a set of water. I'm going to check a look to see if they're ready to flip over. Okay, that's a good doneness on that side, so we're going to flip it over. So flip it over.
Okay, so we cooked it about six minutes on one side, I cook about six on the other. Now the chicken's cooked on both sides, we're gonna take it off and set it aside. Nice and brown on the other side as well. Cooked through, wonderfully done. If you're not sure your chicken's done, cut into it to make sure it's done. Brown on both sides. We're gonna do our left in the pan and just put the mushrooms right in. We're gonna stir them around a bit. We're gonna cook them for about six minutes till they get tender. So I spread them around now and coat them with oil. Now we can just leave it alone for a while. As the mushrooms cook, their juices will come out, soaking the pan. We're going to add some flour to thicken up a bit. After we've done that for a minute, we're going to add in the Marsala wine. To deglaze any pan, the brown bits at the bottom, then we get a nice flavor in the sauce. Then we'll add our chicken stock. As some parts of the mushroom get cooked, stir it around a bit. You can see the juice is starting to form around the mushrooms. This can also help deglaze the pan. Right now, the little bit salt, we want to get them really tender. So we're going to keep cooking them for another two minutes or so. As you get the mushrooms now, the juice has really come out, so it's time to add a tablespoon of flour. This will add a little bit of thickness to it. We're going to stir it in and let it cook for about a minute. Now it's time to add in a cup of Marsala wine and stir it around and see if we can loosen up any brown bits on the bottom. As I put my spatula around the pan, I don't feel any of the brown bits on the bottom anymore, so it's cleaned it all up. Now we're going to add in the two-thirds cup of chicken broth. This is my epic food hacks. It's time for an epic food hack. With Daddy. What do I have here? Two-thirds cup of water. Just pour in the water directly. Once you pour in the water, pour in the bouillon granules. That is, if you're going to use stock from granules, this is an easy way to do it. If you use a can, just pour in the can. But this way, I don't have to try and dissolve the bouillon cubes in the hot water beforehand. I don't have to heat up the water. Just have to pour it into the dish itself. Nice and easy and convenient. Here and let that heat and cook. Maybe cook for about three to four minutes. Let it reduce down. Then we're gonna turn, take it off the fire, and stir in the butter. Now it's been boiling for about three, four minutes. Time to turn off the heat. We're gonna add the butter and let it melt. Once that's done, we're gonna pour it over the chicken. You can see I'm taking my two and a half tablespoons of butter. Now I've chopped them a bit, make it faster to melt. Stir around and melt even faster. It's our goal to melt the butter, make a nice thick butter, make a nice thick butter. I was gonna say butter bourbon. It's not bourbon. It's definitely not bourbon. Make a nice thick butter marsala wine combination. Very tasty. Very good combination, butter plus masala wine and cooking. Adds a very nice flavor. The kids love the flavor. Even though they don't like the mushrooms, they love the flavor of the sauce, which we're gonna pour over rice when the dish is done. Now 
There we go. So the batter is all nice and melted. You don't see any more chunks, which is good. Now we're going to pour the sauce onto the chicken. It may not get all in there because there's a lot of sauce, more than the chicken probably hold. We'll get as much as we can. We'll see if we can fit it all in. Uh, looks like it's all going to fit. Mushrooms on top of the chicken and the sauce. And this is how we serve it at the table. Quick 30 minute chicken marsala. I have a dish with pressure cooked white rice on the side. In another video that's coming out later, I will show you how to cook a wonderful pressure cooked white rice. It tastes very good. Our favorite style of rice is Korean rice, and that usually is how we do it. So you're going to take the chicken, put it on the side here. I'm going to use some mushrooms because I love the mushrooms. So does my daughter. She'll eat the mushrooms too. Now I am going to take out the ladle, pour some of the sauce over the chicken and over the rice. And there is a quick 30 minute chicken marsala dish. The amazing flavor from the chicken really is able to soak in well with the rice and give an idea of a marshmallow taste without the mushrooms. Disrespectfully disagree with Teddy because the mushrooms are the best part. <laughs> and I like everything about the dish. Keep it. Since you made it this far, go ahead and combine your mouse with the like button, just like we combined our chicken marsala with the steamed white rice. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified of all my new videos that come out on Mondays. And just to mess with people who don't get to the outro, go ahead and include the word Bordeaux in your comment below to be included in a possible shout out in next week's video. Thanks for watching and have a happy and healthy day.